Hello everyone, welcome to Easy Engineering Classes. We'll take forward our preparation series and we'll today study two questions on data structure subject. Both of these questions appeared in GATE 2015 paper and in this preparation series we bring to you more such questions from previous year papers of GATE Computer Science, UGC Net Computer Science, Bank IT Officer exams and all such questions and subject wise questions would be helpful to you if you are preparing for any computer science competitive exams okay so starting with the first question of our lecture today the question says that the height of a tree is the length of the longest root to leaf path in it the maximum and the minimum number of nodes in a binary tree of height 5 are all right so first of all height of 5 means a level of 6 okay and why is it so because when we draw any tree suppose we have a binary tree like this which is completely filled or it is a perfect binary tree so the since the height is defined as the root to leaf path therefore from root to root the length of the path would be zero okay so at the root we consider the height equal to zero because from root to itself the height would be or the path length would be zero now from root to this node the path length would consist of a single edge so height is equal to one therefore further levels would have height of height equal to 2 then height equal to 3 and so on okay so this is height 0 but this is level 1 all right and this is level 2 level 3 and so on so if we say height of 5 we actually mean level of 5 plus 1 which is 6 all right so we have to tell what would be the maximum and minimum number of nodes in a binary tree of height 5 now one thing you need to remember is that whenever you have to find the maximum number of nodes you need to completely fill the tree that means each node should have maximum possible number of children okay since it is a binary tree therefore each node can have a maximum of two children and when each node has two children every node has two children we say it is a as a perfect binary tree so in case of a perfect binary tree we would have the maximum number of nodes that are possible for any uh, binary tree of a particular given height okay so if the binary tree is a perfect binary tree then we'll have the maximum number of nodes and how many such nodes would be there for a height for a tree with height h the number of nodes that the maximum number of nodes that are possible are 2 raised to power h plus 1 minus 1 since we know that level is equal to h plus 1 okay level 1 is equal to height of 0 plus 1 similarly we can say that at height h the total number or the maximum number of nodes that we can have is either equal to 2 raised to power h plus 1 minus 1 or it is equivalent to 2 raised to power l minus 1 all right because l is equal to h plus 1 therefore if we have height equal to h equal to 5 the maximum nodes that we can have in such a binary tree is 2 raised to power 5 plus 1 is 6 minus 1. 2 raised to power 6 would be 64. 64 minus 1 is 63. Alright. So when are the maximum number of nodes possible? In case of a perfect binary tree. Now when would be the minimum number of nodes possible? Minimum number of nodes would be possible in case of a skewed binary tree. And this skewed binary tree can either be left skewed or it can be right skewed. And what do I mean by skewed tree? That means the tree is either completely on the left hand side or all the nodes are towards the left hand side or all the nodes are towards the right hand side. Okay. So in this case, the total height or the total level would be a clear indication of the nodes that I can have. So basically, we I am putting a minimum number of node at each level. That is, 
I'm filling each level with a single node. And if I have height 5, then the total number of nodes that I would have in a skewed binary tree would be equal to 6. Okay, and why is it so? Because this is height 0, this is height 1, this is height 2, this is height 3. And if you see how many levels have been there, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. So basically, if at level 4, I'm getting 4 nodes, therefore at level 6, I would get 6 nodes. Thus, the answer to this question is 6 in the case of minimum number of nodes. Okay, so you have to remember when maximum number of nodes occur and when minimum number of nodes occur and what is their value. So the correct value is option A or 63 and 6. Okay, now proceeding to the second question. The second question says, which of the following is or are correct in order traversal sequences of binary search tree? And you are given four sequences and you are given the options to mark. Now, please remember that a major property of in order traversal or in order sequence is that the in order traversal always gives an increasing sequence or I should say a non-decreasing sequence, all right? A non-decreasing sequence of numbers, no matter it is a binary search tree, a perfect binary search tree or any kind of tree in which in order is possible. So in order will always result in an increasing or non-decreasing sequence of values, all right? So in case of in order, the only thing you need to see is that if the sequence is written in ascending order or non-decreasing order, it is an perfect or it is a correct in order sequence. All right. So if we are given the first option as 3, 5, 7, 8, 15, 19 and 25. Yes, this is perfectly increasing order. So yes, this is a correct in order. This is a candidate for a in order sequence okay now coming to the second one 5 8 9 12 and 10 okay you can stop here because this is not an increasing order therefore it is not a correct in order traversal or in order traversal sequence all right now coming to the third one 2 7 10 8 this is also incorrect the fourth one is 4 6 7 9, 18, 20 and 25. Okay, this is also perfectly increasing order. So the correct options are 1 and 4 and the option that you have to mark is 1 and 4 that is option A. So this is the only property you need to remember in case of in order traversal to find out if they are valid sequences or not. All right. So that's all for today's lecture. If you understood both these questions, please like our video and let us know in the comment section below that how did you find this video because your feedback is really valuable to us. Subscribe to the channel of Easy Engineering Classes for more tutorials in this preparation series and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any upcoming video that we upload in future. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Good luck for your exam.